Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we'll discuss about the lexical analysis, when the second part of lexical analysis. The second part of lexical analysis or tokenizer or scanner. We have already discussed about the lexi, what is the meaning of lexical errors and how to identify the lexical errors in the previous classes. But in this class, but in this class, we'll discuss about uh, the tokens. Okay, so what is the meaning of lexical analysis? First, we'll try to understand. The lexical analyzer, the lexical analyzer is designed, how to design the lexical analyzer? The lexical analyzer is designed by using regular expression and finite automata. The lexical analyzer is designed by using regular expression and finite automata. So what is the meaning of regular expression and finite automata? We have already discussed about a very detail about the regular expression and finite automata in the theory of computation classes. If you don't, you don't have any knowledge about the regular expression and finite automata, please watch the, some videos of theory of computation classes, means, uh, uh, means the classes of regular expression and finite automata, means how to construct the finite automata, what is the meaning of regular expression? Please watch the videos of theory of completion classes. Okay, so how to design the lexical analyzer? Now we, we will design the lexical analyzer by using the regular expression on finite automata. Where regular expressions, where regular expressions means how to use the regular expressions. Where regular expressions are used, are used to specify the rules of tokens the rules of tokens and finite automata and finite automata is used to recognize tokens from the given regular expression, from the given regular expression, see. Initially, this is called RE means regular expression. The regular expression will convert to epsilon NFA. Epsilon NFA, we have already also discussed about the epsilon NFA, NFA, DFA, everything. If we have already discussed about in theory of computation classes. I will not discuss uh, the details about the what is the meaning of how to construct the epsilon NFA. How to construct the epsilon NFA means epsilon non deterministic finite automata. DFA means deterministic finite automata. I will not discuss about uh, means in this class. I have already discussed about the DFA, NFA, deterministic finite automata, epsilon, NFA means uh, epsilon non-deterministic finite automata, NFA means non-deterministic finite automata in theory of computation classes. Okay, please watch all videos of uh, theory of computation classes about means uh, epsilon, NFA, NFA, regular expressions like this. So before going to the lexical analyzer, before going to the lexical analyzer, first convert regular expression to epsilon, NFA, then convert epsilon NFA to NFA, then convert NFA to DFA means deterministic finite automata, then the lexical analyzer, then convert to the lexical analyzer. Means we cannot apply the lexical analyzer directly to the regular expression. We cannot apply the lexical analyzer directly to the regular expression. So first we have to construct the epsilon NFA, then construct convert to NFA, then convert to DFA, then we can apply the lexical analyzer in DFA, okay? So this is the whole about the lexical analyzer, okay? So now we'll discuss about the, what is the meaning of tokens? What is the meaning of tokens? How to identify the tokens? Say, tokens. Tokens means there are some different types of tokens. Here we have already, we have, we'll discuss about the five types of tokens. Tokens means identifiers. Identifier, identifiers means how, what is the meaning of identifier? Say L, L plus D whole star. L into L plus D whole star. L means, L means letter. L means letter. Letter like suppose L equal to A, B, C, up to Z, up to Z, small Z, then capital A, capital B, like this uh, capital Z. This is called capital Z. This is types of letter. 
digit means we know about the digit digit means 0 1 2 up to 9 this is called digit okay so that means every identifier must every identifier must start with the letter every identifier must start with the letter letter in the sense suppose uh, for example a letter as for example some means uh, examples of identifier like suppose a 1 2 b s this one is identifier or not s it is identifier because this one starts with this string or this word starts with a means letter suppose uh, one a b c this is this uh, this one is identifier or not no because this string is not start with the letter this string starts with the digit that's why it is not mean the second one the second one is not identifier the first one is a identifier okay so identifier is also one token then keywords keywords like you know if if else for like int this is one type of int this is one type of means uh, these are the keywords okay next one the operators operators like suppose operators like uh, uh, some operators greater than greater or equals to less than less or equals to equals to double equals to okay these are called as the operators okay next one the constant what is the meaning of constant constant like 1 2 3 5 6 9 these are called as the constant suppose 5 3 some floating points like 5 3.09 these are called as the constants okay next one the special symbols special symbols like suppose has has uh, some uh, some other special symbols like uh, uh, at the rate, these are called as the special symbol. These are uh, these are some different types of tokens. You may have some uh, other tokens. You may, but these are the very important tokens. Okay. So now we'll identify. This is very very important questions. You may face this type of question. See how to identify the tokens. These are the one example. This is one of the examples. See. These are one example of tokens. So now this is the example of uh, some code snippet. This is the examples of some code snippet. Now we'll identify the number of tokens in the code, in the code or in the program. Okay. Now see here int is a, here int is the token. Main is one token. This one open bracket is one token the close bracket is one token it means this line this statement contains four tokens this statement contains four tokens see here this is the colibris this is also one token since this one is a comment line since this line is a comment line so comment line will never be token so that's why i have already discussed about lexical analyzer eliminates the comments lines and white spaces lexical analyzer eliminates the comments lines and white spaces so every comments lines is never be a token okay so now i'll check so this uh, statement means first statement contains contains only uh, four tokens the second statement contains one token so this one means this statement this line never contains a token so now we'll check this one. This is one token. This is one. This is one. This is one. This is one. This is one token. This is one token. This is one token. This is one token. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine number of tokens in this line. Okay. Now we'll see next tokens. This one is one. 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 That means one, two, three, four, five, six number of tokens in this line. Okay. So six number of tokens in this line. Okay. Next, this is one, this is one, this is one. Means three number of tokens in this line. This is one number of tokens in this statement. This one contains one, two, three. Means three number of tokens. This is one token. 
Okay. So the code or the program contains how many number of tokens? Four plus one, four plus one, then nine, then six, three, six, three, then one, three, one, one. This is one, three, one. Okay. So four plus one, five. Total 28 number of tokens. Total 28 number of tokens in this course snippet. Okay. Now we'll see some. Uh, this is the means in this way we can count the number of tokens in the program. This is very, very important question. You must face one question. Uh, you may face one question from uh, this exam means for this type of example. Okay. Now we'll see the recognition of tokens. What is the meaning of recognition of tokens? Recognition of tokens means generally tokens are recognized by finite automata or some transition diagrams. How to recognize the tokens? Tokens are recognized by tokens are recognized by tokens are recognized by generally finite automata or transition diagram or transition diagram okay so generally tokens are recognized by finite automata or transition diagram okay so these are i've just give some examples of how to identify means how to recognize the tokens i'm just give for examples recognition recognition of identifier recognition of relational operator recognition of keywords recognition of numbers okay so how to recognize the identifiers i'll just give the first example see the first one the recognition of identifiers how to what is the meaning of identifier we have already discussed what is the regular expression of identifier the regular expression of identifier equal to L, L plus D whole star. L plus D whole star. Here L means letter, D means digit. Here L means letter, D means digit. What is the meaning of L? Letter means all numbers, small case numbers, all small case numbers and capital numbers. And capital numbers okay means a to small z and capital a to capital z these are called as the letters and d d means digit digit like 0 to 1 digit like 0 to 1 so now we can also create some examples of identifier using this formula or this regular expression every identifier must start with the letter l means letter Suppose letter, I'll just I can select any one letter from any one letter from this one means small small a to small z and small a to so capital A to capital Z. For example, I'll just select like B. I just select like B. So I can select any number of any number of or any combination of star means here what? Star means any combinations, any combinations of letter or digit. L plus D whole star means any combination of letter or digit. Means it may be zero combination, it may be one combination, it may be two combination, it may be three combination or more than three combinations. So we can take. Okay. Let I am taking two combination of letter and digit. We may take any combination of letter. We may take any combination of digit or we may take any combination of letter and digit both. Okay, suppose if I'll take the combination of only letter, letter means let it is B A. Okay, if I'll take any combination of only digit, so this is one identifier, suppose B, 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 suppose two, this is the combination of digit. Suppose I'll take, if I'll take any combination of letter and digit both, 
like this b 1 2 c okay so this is the combination of letter and digit both okay but every string here should start with the letter every string should start with the letter okay so this is the this is all about the regular expression this is all about the regular expression now we will construct the finite automata or transition diagram for this given regular expression how this is the q0 q0 then this is l this is l then q1 is the final state then this is l and d any combination of l and d see this is the construction of finite automata is very simple i will not discuss here how to construct the finite automata the construction of finite automata from regular expression i have already discussed about in the theory competition classes if you don't you don't have any knowledge about how to construct means regular expression to finite automata please watch the video the construction from regular expression to finite automata okay so this is all about the recognition of identifiers now we'll see one more example the recognition of relational operators the recognition of relational operators relational operators means this is the greater or equal this is the greater than symbol this is the less or equal symbol this is the less than symbol see here greater or equal means this is the q0 the initial state then greater than and equal symbol greater than and equal symbol next one is the greater than symbol greater than symbols means this is the greater than and others others means suppose example is greater than a Gre sorry greater than 5 this is not a greater than 5 greater than 5 means this is the greater than others means this is called 5 okay then less or equal this is the less than this is the equal then less than symbol this is the less than others less than others means less than 5 similarly we can also write less or equals less than equals to 5 we can also write and we we have to create here here one non final set here one is final set means less or equal we can also create one final state here then i will make this one is the in, uh, sorry uh, means non final state and we can also write this one is the others others we can also write okay it's not a problem so in this way we will recognize the relational operators we will recognize the relational operators then next one recognition of keywords then next one recognition of keywords see recognition of keywords some keywords like if for else like these are called as the keywords if means i f then final state for means f o r then final state else means e l s e then final state so in this way we can construct the finite automata for some keywords for some keywords okay now we'll see the next one recognition of numbers recognition of numbers how to create the numbers see the numbers may be integer or may be float the numbers may be integer or float see integer some example like 256 201 these are called as the integer numbers some float numbers like we can we can uh, write the float numbers see here this one is the fractional form fractional this one is called as the fractional format or decimal format we can say decimal decimal format decimal format we can decimal format okay so decimal format means 56.09 we can also write the floating numbers in floating, floating numbers in exponential format exponential format exponential format we can also write means 56.09 
e plus 2 3 56.09 e minus 25 like this okay so now we'll create the regular expressions for numbers how to see here see this is called digit digit like 0 1 2 3 like 9 digits how to create the digits digits like digit must start with the digit and digit star digit and digit star digit stars like digit uh, plus when digit and digit star like we can also write digit plus but how to means write the plus uh, we have already discussed about in theory of computation classes so that's means uh, before going to the theory means compiler design classes you must follow in theory of computation classes okay you must you should know about means all concepts about theory of computation classes what is the means so numbers means star star means any occurrences from means zero or one two three like that means star in the sense star star means any occurrences like zero one two like this okay so plus means plus must be starts with any occurrences starts with means one two three like this okay so number just a minute okay so number means so digit means in this way we can create the digit digits for example like what is the meaning of digit uh, digit into digit star means any combination of digit star or we can also write digit plus a digit plus means digit plus means uh, every number must start with the first occurrence means first occurrence digit means 0 1 2 3 like 9 so we can write suppose i will take any numbers like 3 this is the digit suppose three suppose three one two this is the digit okay so it must contains only one number it must contains only one number so remember so i not uh, we should not include zero here we should not include zero here we should not uh, include zero here why because if i'll include zero Suppose I'll write uh, digits equal to digit into digit star. Suppose I'll take digit means only one digit here, like zero. So then I will I can take any zero occurrence of digit star means any zero occurrence means I will not take anything. So zero is not a digit. So zero is not a digit. Okay. So next, next we'll create the number. Next we'll create the number. How to create the number? See here, digit star. Digit star means, see, suppose some numbers like 56, some numbers like 56, 56 point, suppose 0, 05, then 56 point 0, 05 E plus 0, 05, then 56 point 0, 05. e minus 0, 05 okay so 56 how see here 56 means we can take 56 from digit plus we can take 56 from digit plus suppose i want to create 56.05 6 here we can take 56 from digit plus then point means this is the decimal number this is the decimal number then digit plus means this is 0, 05 what is the question mark? Question mark means either zero occurrence or one occurrence. Either zero occurrence or one occurrence. That means 
see here. Suppose I want to create fifty six. Suppose I want to create fifty six. If I will take zero occurrence, how to create fifty six? How to create fifty six? Digit plus means this one is the fifty six. So I have to take zero occurrence. This one. I have to take zero occurrence. This one. I have to take zero occurrence. This one. If I'll take zero occurrence, this one, this one, and this one, then we can get fifty-six from digit plus. Suppose I want to create fifty-six point zero five. Suppose I want to create fifty-six point zero five. So how to get six? Uh, see here, fifty-six then zero five means I will take one occurrence from this one. Means let this one is zero five. Then I have to take zero occurrence from this one. I have to take zero occurrence from this one. Okay, suppose I want to create this number means fifty six point zero five e plus zero five e plus zero five. So fifty six point zero five. So I will take one occurrence from this one. Then I will take one occurrence from this one. Means C. I will take one occurrence from this one. Means E. C R. This is E. Then E plus. Then I will take plus plus. Or this is the or symbol plus or minus. I'll take let plus symbol e plus. Then I have to take again. This is not zero occurrence. I'll take one occurrence from here. Means e plus zero five. E plus zero five. Suppose I want to create fifty. This one. This example means fifty six point zero five e minus zero five. So how to create? See here. Fifty six. Then I will take one occurrence means zero point point zero five. Then I will take one occurrence from this one means e plus. Sorry, e not plus. Then I will take like this e minus. I will take minus one occurrence. Then I will take one occurrence again. This one means zero five. Then zero five. Okay. So in this way, so in this way we can create the numbers means all types of integer numbers and floating numbers. So now we'll create the finite automata. Now we'll create the finite automata. See how to create the finite automata. First one is the digit plus means this is the digit and this is the star means digit star means uh, this is just like a loop. This is a self loop. So digit digit. Then next one is the point. Then digit plus digit plus means digit and digit self loop. Then next one is the e. Next one is the e. Then next one is plus or minus, plus or minus. Then next one is the digit plus means digit. Then digit star means it is a loop, self loop. Digit plus is nothing but digit into digit star. Star means it is a self loop. So digit, digit, self loop. Okay. So now. Suppose I want to create only integer number. Suppose I want to create only integer number. So five six. Now I'll check five six. So five. This one is the five. This one is the five. Then this one is the six. That just go to the final state directly. This one is the other symbol. This is for integer we can solve. Next one is the fifty six point zero five. Then next one is the fifty six point zero five. So fifty six five. Then six. Then point, then I'll take this one point, then zero, then five, then go to the final state. Just exit from this state. Then I want to create the third example, fifty six point zero five. So fifty six point zero five. Then e, then I'll take plus here, then zero five. There, so I'll exit in this final state. Similarly, we can take. The minus one, fifty six, fifty six point zero five. Then e, then this one is the minus symbol. I will take then zero five. Then I will exit in this final step. So in this way, we can create the means uh, the finite automata for numbers. Okay. So if regular expression is given, we can easily create the finite automata. If finite automata is given, we can easily create the regular expression. In this way, we can also recognize. In this way, we can also create the recognition of the tokens. Okay, 
so it may be a little difficult for some students but uh, if you don't know means don't have any knowledge about the regular restriction and finite automata so it must be difficult for you if you know the means uh, that means uh, some knowledge about the regular restriction and finite automata if regular restriction is given how to construct the finite automata so it is very very easy for you okay so please please watch the videos of uh, like uh, some theory of completion classes like uh, how to construct the finite automata from regular expression okay so next one the next concept the next concept is here which of the following statement which of the following statements gives the lexical error okay if not if not means if the statement does not contain any lexical error so count the numbers of tokens count the number of tokens okay so now we'll see see the first example see the first example this is the int is a token a is a token equals to is a valid token 2.9 is a valid token and this is the semicolon so this one there is no lexical error in the first statement there is no lexical in the first statement so that's why in uh, and the first statement contains one two three four five five number of tokens the first statement contains five number of tokens the second statement the second statement float is a valid token b is a valid token equal is a valid token 3.89 is a floating number it is valid and equal equal is also sorry and semicolon is also valid so similarly there is no lexical error in the second statement so it also contains five number of tokens one two three four five now we check the third one float is a valid f is a valid equal is a valid 2 point this is not 2 point 2 dot 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 9 like this so it is not valid so this one is not valid means it's an invalid constant we can write here invalid constant invalid invalid constant so this one is an invalid constant so third one it's third one contains the lexical errors so third one contains the lexical errors and the lexical errors due to invalid constant due to invalid constant because two dot 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 nine it is not a means constant now we'll see the fourth one the fourth one it is a valid int is a valid qr a is valid equal is a valid token zero x g h so this one is not valid so this one is not valid means it is called we can say like invalid identifier invalid identifier because identifier should start from the letter but it starts with the digit it starts with the digit so we can write this is this is one means invalid identifier invalid identifier invalid identifier okay so fourth one contains the lexical error so fourth statement contains the lexical errors okay so now we'll see the fifth one. This is character is a valid token. C is a valid token. Equal is a valid token. And this one is a valid token means this is a valid string. And this one is valid. So one, two, three, four, five, five number of tokens in the fifth statement. In the fifth statement. Okay. So fifth one is a valid. There is no lexical errors. Now we'll see the sixth one int is a valid token a is a valid token equal is a valid token one at the rate eight is invalid this is we can say like invalid identifier invalid identifier we can also write invalid identifier or we can also write one at the rate eight means invalid constant we can also write invalid identifier identifier or we can write invalid constant also we can also write okay so this is not valid so sixth one contains the lexical errors then seventh one seventh one will check int is valid else if is valid 
comma is valid for while do is valid then semicolon is valid so 1 2 3 4 5 five number of tokens in seventh five number of tokens five number of tokens in the seventh statement remember for you can uh, you can select for is uh, one token while is one token do is one token but remember for while do for while do is one word here for while do if i'll write like this for for while do so this one is one token this is one token this is one means three token this is one token but here for while do is one word or one string that's why that's why it is a only one number of tokens but in this case it is contains three number of tokens in this case it is three number of tokens but in this case this is only one number of token okay now we will see the next concept see the eighth one see a phi this is one we can say like identifier this is one one this is valid token this is valid token this is valid token this is valid this is valid means 1 2 3 4 5 6 number of tokens okay this one is valid this is one token this one is valid this one is valid this one is valid means three number of tokens this one is valid this is one number of token so 6 plus 1 7 plus 3 10 plus 1 means 11 number of tokens means 11 number of tokens in eighth number of statement okay now we we'll check the ninth one ninth one statement c int is valid find max is valid this one is valid int is valid age is valid comma is valid int is valid this one is valid and this one is valid semicol uh, colibris uh, left colibris is valid if is valid left this one is valid age is valid and greater than symbol is valid b is valid this is the right open bracket is valid return is valid a is valid semicolon is valid see this one is a comment line since this is a comment line so uh, since this is a comment line so this is not tokens every comment lines because lexical analyzer eliminates the comment lines else is valid return is valid b is valid semicolon is valid right colibris is valid so just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so total 24 number of tokens okay so the total 24 number of tokens in the ninth statement in the ninth statement okay in this way we can we can find out the lexical errors and find out the number of tokens this is very very important questions about the lexical analyzer okay so the drawbacks of lexical analyzer so what is the drawbacks of lexical analyzer see lexical analyzer can detect lexical analyzer can detect only lexical Uh, sorry not lexical analyzer lexical error lexical analyzer la means here la means lexical analyzer lexical analyzer can detect only lexical error in the lexical analysis page but not to detect the syntax and semantic error this is one of the drawbacks so that's why tokens will be returned to other phases to detect the remaining errors remaining means remaining errors like semantic errors and syntactic uh, errors okay syntax errors like semantic errors okay so these are the main drawbacks of lexical analyzer okay so next one is the tools of the tools for designing the lexical analyzer one is the lex the first one the first one is called the lex lex means 
lexical analyzer generator lexical analyzer generator one more tools for designing the lexical analyzer is the flex means fast fast lexical analyzer generator means fast lexical analyzer generator these are called as the tools for designing the lexical analyzer okay so these are all about the lexical analyzer in the next class we'll see about the syntax analyzer means the second phase of the compiler okay thanks for watching